seems quite obvious to Red Hand that people here, especially in the engineering department, do not understand how to build drains in a Pindan environment. We have only suffered one major storm in Broome this season. Now Broome, like I'd like to reiterate, has only had one major storm this year. And the damage that this has caused is unbelievable. As we make our way across the road, that putting down a bit of rock is not going to protect Pindan from being damaged. This is a direct result of runoff from refreshed rainwater and high tide erosion that is taking place in what, what I would call an incredibly pathetic effort to make drainage. Now this site literally is on sea level. And they're having enormous problems with drainage. Pools of water are laying around for days, causing a major health risk. And in addition to that, this development over here, which was put in last year, is not above sea level. We're actually still on the Broome Marsh, next to the Broome International Airport. And again, I just want to illustrate the absolute engineering nightmare that this helicopter port is creating. Like I said, that fence would no longer, wouldn't it be no older than I'd say three months at the most. I'd like to illustrate to you that these mounds of Pindar banks that are designed to keep the salt water off this complex. But on closer inspection of this, you'll see that we have introduced weeds. We have introduced grasses. And in addition to that, we have also melons, watermelons. But what I'd like to point out is that we have Malay almonds. And we have more Malay almonds. And we have more Malay almonds. And the rest is basically weeds and maybe one or two natives that might have a chance of surviving in this salt, inundated environment. This pin dam is actually washed out into the mangroves and they are smothered because they cannot breathe. And in addition to that, Pindan holds heat. So any um, microorganism or crabs or anything, once that Pindan soil covers the mud flats, they cannot breathe and they suffocate. This is absolute wanton environmental damage and the environmental impact needs to be immediately assessed and rectified. This is just the beginning of an infrastructure that supports a gas hub on the Kimberley coast.